Good morning, legislators. Today is February 23rd, 2016. It is going on the 26th day of your legislative session of 40 days. So you don't have a lot of time left. And to be quite honest, I just finished watching the lawmakers on Georgia Public Broadcasting, and I am dismayed at how much time you've wasted already. So we don't have much time to waste. Actually, we don't have any time to waste. So let me get right to it. A few things that I think you need to get on right away. Jump on Stacey Abrams' House Bill 823, the Expand Medicaid Now Act. This is something that can ensure almost 500,000 people give them health insurance that they desperately need in our state right now. And that is going to expand our economic base. It's going to make us healthier and, you know, give people in Georgia the money we need right now. It's there for the asking. You know, other states are taking it. It's federal money here for us to have. So I encourage everybody to go to the uh, www.expandmedicaidga.com site right now, sign the petition to expand Medicaid, and read a little bit about the super benefits that for some reason our Georgia lawmakers are missing out on um, and driving literally hundreds of millions of dollars away and very valuable jobs away from our state right now. But most of all, they're putting nearly half a million Georgians into a life-threatening situation that is unnecessary. As the widow of a wonderful man who fought a valiant battle with cancer and died from it, I, uh, I realize how critical having good insurance is. You know, even when you have insurance, it's tough, but good God, legislators, what's wrong with you? Don't make it tougher on people in our state right now, and don't trash our economy as you are doing right now. So yeah, right away, get on that bill, expand Medicaid now, and all of you constituents, call your legislators and tell them to get on it. Because uh, we need that money. I mean, <laughs> this is much better than the movie industry. Yeah, free money from the federal government. We've already paid for it. Let's have it. Okay, what else do we need to do? Um, Georgia lawmakers, are you aware that we are about to trash the Georgia Dome? Yes. That fabulous 70,000 seat facility, the largest indoor sports arena in the North American hemisphere, sell out crowds for Beyonce or Joel Osteen or, oh my God, monster trucks. I don't know if they sell out, but anyway, where else can you do monster truck rallies? Um, but yes, we must keep our Georgia Dome because it's a moneymaker. It's, it's a fabulous tourist attraction right in the middle of our city, dovetailed with the Georgia World Congress Center. It's bringing in business. It's giving us money. It's a super facility that's almost paid for. Why in the world would we tear it down? Well, some people will say, well, because we passed some legislation that says we should tear it down. Your legislators, fix it. Write some new legislation. Your job is to do legislation that is good for the people of the state of Georgia, not to proselytize, not to politic, and skip that stupid Pastor Protection Act. Excuse me, but that was ridiculous, and you know it. That's an unreal scenario that we're never going to encounter, and the only thing your religious freedom stupid bill is going to do is drive business away from our state. So let's stop driving business away from our state. Let's welcome business people to our state. Let's help the people who are already here. Expand Medicaid. Save the Georgia Dome. You can go to um, change.org and see the Dump the Debt, Save the Dome petition and sign that. Call your legislators and tell them to take a second look. To please, you know, see if you can push this legislation through to reconsider the demolition of the Georgia Dome. There is no reason to throw away a billion dollar asset that's making us money in this state right now. What are you thinking, Governor Deal? Come on. Now, what else do we need to do? Economic development. Restore funding for the HOPE Scholarship. Absolutely. You know, that's something that we promised our students when they were working hard to get their grades, and then we cut it back. But if you want to really put some good investment in our economy, don't give it away to outside businesses. Don't give tax breaks to people who might come here. Give the HOPE Scholarship to the students who are already here. That will benefit the families who are already here, who don't have to pay out anymore, who don't have to go into debt. That will benefit our educational institutions. That will up the pay grade of our entire population and keep businesses and educated people here right in the state doing fabulous things. So yes, 
Restoring full funding to the Hope Scholarship is a win-win, plus it's the right thing to do. When you promise a kid you're going to give them a Hope Scholarship, give them a Hope Scholarship and don't cut back on it. Cut back on the you know, parking lots for the Falcons. Cut back on paving your personal driveway, Governor Deal. But don't cheat the students out of the Hope Scholarship that they were promised. That's ridiculous. Now, um, one more thing. Lieutenant uh, Governor Casey Cagle made some comment uh, um, supposedly defending, you know, the right to pray or, you know, say religious things in public, in public places, in public schools, in publicly funded institutions. Mm, I got a hint for you, Casey Cagle. Um, you don't really need permission to pray, and um, I don't think you really need a megaphone or public funding to do it. And just to prove that to you, I'm going to do it right here, right now, on the internet, and broadcast it out. So, Dear God, thank you for blessing our state, and thank you for giving our legislators 15 more days to make things right. Amen. All right, so a um, little recap here. Expand Medicaid. Save the Dome. And Restore Hope. That's a little primer for you, because you only got 15 days to go. Get with it. These next 15 days, you can make the difference between our state losing billions of dollars in assets or our state gaining billion dollars of assets and good health and smart kids going to school and doing great things for our state and wonderful things for our families and families prospering and people getting great jobs. So get to it, legislators. Expand Medicaid, save the dome, and restore hope. Thanks so much. This is Molly Reed Wu coming to you from Buckhead, Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, hoping you do the right thing. I'm praying for you. Signing off. <laughs>